such a good show tonight. I'm always excited on a show when I know we've got the goods. Oh, yeah. When we've got the goods and I know it, I'm excited. I There's some nights when I come out here and I'm like a riverboat gambler. <laughs> I got nothing, but I have to act like I got something. But tonight, such a, such a good show. And what better night, what, are, what better night than tonight than to talk about the post office? Don't you think? <laughs> Segways have never been my thing. Let's make that clear right now. No, I wanted to do something tonight that's kind of fun. It's actually a real treat. Uh, as you know, the post office is continually coming up with new designs for their 33 cent stamps. They're always coming up with a new design and then they present it and it's a big deal. Well, once again, every show tries their hardest to be the first to, to break the news of what the new stamps are. Our show, once again, has been fast enough and good enough to get a sneak peek at some of the new designs that'll be coming out in the next few months. Thank you, I know, it's pretty cool. Thank you, I didn't... People wanna know. And I thought tonight, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna take a look at some of these designs for new stamps as a way of celebrating what a great show we have. Now, two of the post office's favorite subjects throughout the years, as you all know, have been famous historical sites and famous American political figures. Well, get this, this new set combines both. For the first time, they're combining both. That's right, it's the George W. Bush Identifies World Landmarks series of stamps. It's true. There's this one, there's Leaning Tower of Pisa right there. There's, of course, that's a good one. There's the Alamo. There's the Fantastic Four, he likes the... Always a fan. And then, uh, this is my favorite, and it's gonna be a collector's item someday, the spiky lady. <laughs> I like that one. Now, uh, of course, nature stamps have always been popular among collectors, and this new set should be no exception. It's the flightless birds using other modes of transportation series. <laughs> That's right, this is a very cool series. There's, for example, Ostrich on a City Bus, right there. There's the Cassowary on a Cruise, looking very romantic. There's Aria on an Escalator. And of course, my favorite, Emu in a Rickshaw. That's a... You can see it right there. I got the goods tonight, I tell you. Now, but world leaders World leaders have been featured on stamps since the stamp was invented. Well, this next set I'm gonna show you explores the human side of some of history's most ruthless and cruel dictators. That's right, it's called the Famous Tyrants Having Slurpy Brain Freeze series. <laughs> That's right, there's Joseph Stalin right there. There's Mao Zedong. This one really hurts, it's Saddam Hussein right there. And then, of course, cruelest of all, Martha Stewart, having a... Having a... Now, I, I, I really like this next set of stamps. Uh, it's, uh, it's being released to coincide with the changing of the seasons. It's a little complicated, get this. It's the Star Wars Sanford and Son Autumn Celebration Series. That's what it is. Take a look at this first one. There's C-3PO and, Lam and Lamont jumping into a leaf pile. There's, of course... Look at Lamont go. There's, of course, Darth Vader and Fred tossing a football. There's Grady and R2-D2 carving a pumpkin. And, of course, Aunt Esther and Obi-Wan Kenobi fighting over a turkey leg. I like that one. Now, uh, many stamps through the years have featured religious themes. Well, this new set continues that hallowed tradition. It's the Jesus Makeover series. That's right. Yeah, there's 50s Greaser Jesus. There's Limp Biscuit Jesus. There's Afro Jesus. 
And then every nerd's favorite, Vulcan Jesus, right there. <laughs> And then, finally, here's another nature set that should become one of the post office's all-time bestsellers. It's the Daily Routine of Monkeys at the Zoo series. That's right. I didn't do anything yet. Why don't you trust me to have a little class, okay? Good. There's masturbating while standing up. There's masturbating while sitting in a tree. There's masturbating while lying down near a water bowl. And of course, eating. Now, are you gonna be all right? You're gonna need oxygen in a minute. What kind of example are you setting for people? You sicken me. All right. Poor woman. She's just here to get in out of the rain. We're gonna take a little break, everybody. You gotta stick around tonight. When we come back, Dana Carvey will be joining us.